Well, you see, I don't want to read from the Bible as the Bible has been corrupted over time. Can you, you show me where the Quran says yeah. the Bible is corrupted? Basically, the Bible uh, has been like written by people, right? When, who wrote down the Quran for your prophet? Allah did. You mean Allah came down and took a pen and wrote no. it in the Musa? The Arabic Quran you're reading, Allah wrote it for you personally? He, he hand copied no, people it? People have wrote it. Say it again? People have wrote it, but... Thank you. People wrote down the Quran for your prophet that you believe received it from Allah. So if your problem is that the Bible is written down by people, your Quran was written down by people. So that means you shouldn't trust your Quran according to your logic. No, we, we should trust it because... It, Why? It, you see, the the Quran wasn't like originally uh, uh, my, my, my bad, like written by the people. It First of all, God... Uh, God uh, sent uh, sent it down. Uh, he gave it to Gabriel, and Gabriel sent it down to the prophet. Uh, no, and what no did the prophet do being, when he received it? He put it into a book. He made a book. But your prophet is Ummi. He can't read or write. So who wrote it for him? Do you want me to give you the names? I'll tell you. He had scribes: sure. Abdullah ibn Masud, Uvay ibn Kaab, Zayd ibn Thabit, Muawiyah ibn Abu Sufyan, among others. There were men, human scribes, that your prophet had to write down the Quran for him. Yeah. And what did Uthman do with all those Qurans that he Muhammad Sahaba, what did he do? What did Uthman do with those Qurans? He made them He made them into a book. He burned them. Oh. He destroyed Qurans that were Arabic Qurans written by the companions of Muhammad. And he took the one copy of Zayd and he says, this is the one we're going to go by. Let me show it to you. Okay. So thank God we didn't have an Uthman burning our bibles like you did here it is sad bukhari volume 6 number 510 here it is brother brother in humanity click on it and open it up and read it for me but haifa uh, ben uh, al yaman came to uthman at the time when people of shem uh, and the people of iraq were waging war to conquer armenia and as uh, 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 but hi uh, Hudhaifa was afraid of their, uh, the people of Sham and Iraq, differences in the recitation of the Quran. So he said to Uthman, oh, uh, uh, Uthman, O oh chief of the believers, save this nation before they differ about the book Quran as Jews and Christians did before. So Uthman sent a message. Before you move on, yeah. he's saying, Uthman, the Muslims are now coming to blows and they're about to kill each other. Because there are different Muslims from different areas. One group from Iraq, the other from Syria. And the Muslims from Syria are reciting the Quran in a way that the people of Iraq have not heard. And the yeah. Muslims of Iraq are reciting the Quran in a way that the Muslims from Syria have not heard. And they're accusing one another of corrupting the book, changing the book, and they want to kill each other. So do something about it. So let me ask you a question. How is it that the Muslims, who all were taught the Quran by the companions of Muhammad, the Sahaba, of Muhammad, like yeah, Abdullah ibn Masood, Ubay ibn Kaab, when they learned the Quran from Muhammad's companions, were reciting it so differently, reading it so differently, that it didn't sound the same. So they accused each other of corrupting the book and wanted to kill each other. Yeah. Why? Because they, they wanted to kill each other because they were accusing each other of corrupting the book. But if the Quran is perfectly preserved and they learned it from one man, the correct recitation, why would they recite it so differently that it didn't sound the same and they accused... Muslims of corrupting the Quran. They they may have uh, read, for example, a character different uh, to accuse each other. For example, they may have read uh, the word al mutahida For example, mutahidi for mutahidida, or etc. I'm giving an example. And no, but they, what I'm saying is that's okay. My point yeah. is they're all learning it from Muhammad. Abdullah bin Masood is learning it from Muhammad. Ubay bin Kab is learning from Muhammad. Why then would these two companions of Muhammad? Learn the Quran so differently, so that when they teach it to others, these others now are thinking the other Muslims have corrupted the Quran. Why couldn't they get it the, the same way and the right way when they're getting it from the same person? And finish what Uthman did. O, o chief of the believers, save this nation before they differ about the book Quran as Jews and Christians did before. So Uthman sent the message to Hafsa saying, send us the manuscripts of the Quran so that we may compile uh, the Quranic materials in perfect copies, then return the manuscripts to you. Do I continue? Yeah, yeah, and then look what Uthman did. So when Zayed okay. and three others helped him make new copies of the Quran, the Mus'haf that was with Hafsa. Now, to give you the history, yeah. Hafsa had the copy of the Quran that Abu Bakr commissioned Zayed ibn Thabit to write during the caliphate of Abu Bakr. 
When Abu Bakr died, Omar took that Mus'haf, that Quran. When he was murdered, it was entrusted to his daughter Hafsa. So now Uthman is saying, go to Hafsa, ask her for that copy, make fresh copies from that one. Now read what happens. Yeah. Hafsa sent it to Uthman. Uthman then ordered Zayd bin Thabit, Abdullah ibn Zubair, Sayyid bin Al-As, and Abdul Rahman bin Harif bin Hisham to rewrite the manuscripts in perfect copies. Uthman said to the free Qurayshi men, in case you disagree with Zayd uh, bin Thabit on any point in the Quran, uh, the Quran uh, then write it to a dialect of Quraysh. The, the Quran was revealed in their tongue. They then write it in a dialect, uh, uh, so they did so, and when they had written many copies, Uthman returned the original manuscript to Hafsa. Uthman sent to every Muslim province one copy of what they had uh, copied and ordered uh, uh, that all of the Quranic materials, whenever written in uh, fragment man uh, fragmentary manuscripts or whole copies, uh, to be burned. Wait, what did he do with the Qurans of the Sahaba, the companions of Muhammad? He burned them. What gave Uthman the right to take the Mus'haf, the copy of Abdullah ibn Masood, or Uba ibn Kab, or the others, and burn them and destroy them when these are Arabic Qurans that were written Nobody down? Nobody right. Say it again? Nobody gave him the right to do that. Okay, but he did it. Yeah, he did. And he's not a prophet, he's not a messenger, and Allah didn't give him wahi to do that. So when you say your Quran is perfectly preserved, not according to your traditions, yeah. So why would I want to follow your Quran when Uthman came about 30 years after your, the death of your prophet? He burned all these Arabic Qurans. And Abdullah bin Masood, by the way, refused, didn't want to give up the Quran. And I have the traditions to prove it, where he said, I memorized and learned over 70 surahs from Muhammad when Zayd was still a little child in Medina. And you want me to go to him and take the Quran from him? Abdullah bin Masood didn't want to. He was forced. And then Uthman had him beaten up. This is mm -hmm. in your Muslim sources. So thank Jesus Christ, our Lord. We didn't have a Christian like Uthman who gathered the copies of the books of the Bible written by the companions of the Lord Jesus and burned them and say, you're going to go with this one. Thank the Lord Jesus. That didn't happen with our Bible, but it happened with your Quran. So how can I trust your Quran? Well, there has been a research in Birmingham. Uh, there was a Quran that was like 3,000 3, and something years old. It was preserved. Not 3,000 because... Uh, I meant like, uh, yeah, I meant like uh, 2,000 2, or 1,000 or like that, somewhere between there. And it was preserved. And it, uh, no, no. They... Quran, the Birmingham, go read it. It has variant readings that is not identical to the Quran today. That's number one. Number two, it's not a complete Quran. It's only a few surahs. And number three, the codex is dated even before the time that your prophet began his prophetic ministry. some It's like date around 540. So if you go with the earlier dating, that means these chapters were not from Muhammad. They were chapters Muhammad took and made part of the Quran. If we go with that logic. My friend, my whole point is you've been taught a lie. You look like a very nice, innocent young man. Do yourself a favor. If you believe God is real, if you do, God knows your heart. Cry out to God and say, God, show me the truth. Show me what religion is the true path and show me if Jesus is a man only or is your son and give me the grace to accept that truth. Come yeah. back and contact me because you're respectful. If someone's respectful, I'm respectful. If they mock, then I mock. So let's keep it respectful. Okay, my friend? Sure, sure. No problem. And come back, come back again. Say, hey, I have some questions. I want to talk about it. I'm here for you. By the grace of God, and we'll pray for you. I, we know that you go by Dawood, but on your Discord, it's Dork Volen. So yeah, Dork keep it up, my friend. Yeah, take care. And yeah, that's basically it.